I'm Channing, and today I'm going to be unboxing Dorothy's Ruby Slippers from The Wizard of Oz. You ready? Ready to do it? So these are made by Icon Design Studio. Um, you can get this particular pair from Sideshow Collectibles, sideshow.com. Um, this is the Yellow Brick Road Edition. Um, there's a few different versions of these that Icon Studios made, uh, depending on where you get them from. Uh, this particular pair has a unique Yellow Brick Road display case with it. Um, and these are limited to 400 pairs. So you can see this is 286 out of 400. Are we ready to do it? Okay, so they look really nicely packaged in here. So let's get this box out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Same thing. 286 out of 400. Yep. Guess we got two boxes to open. Yep. And here is where they are. You ready? Yep. To see what's in here? Alright. <clears throat> okay, so I can already see the display case. Well, I'm going to say it again. So you can already see the display case here. So they come really nicely packaged in here. Okay, now let's try to... Okay, you grab the box here, like just the box. And I'll lift this out. Yep, hold on to the box. Okay, now move the box, go ahead and put it on the floor. All right here we go. Let's take a look. It's got 286 on the sides. Oh ah, yeah. Yes it does. So these shoes were actually replicated using both the pair that's at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., and also the pair that was stolen that they ended up recovering recently. Um, and they were also made knowing the, with the knowledge of how the originals were made. So these are supposed to be the most accurate replica of the ruby slippers ever produced. They're even the exact size that the original pair was. Uh, Judy Garland was a, a size 5C in dress shoes, so these are a size 5C. So there's no sizes here, you just, you get the size that, that the real ones are. Got a lot of cellophane wrap on it. So this might take a minute. I'm trying to carefully get all this off. Holy cow, and it's even a bubble wrap. Yep. It's very protected. Maybe if I just try not to scratch the display case. Because you can tell it's that clear. I wasn't sure if it'd be glass or not. It didn't specify. But it's, uh, you can tell it's that acrylic that if you were to even wipe it with like a paper towel, it would probably scratch it. Definitely something that's easily scratched. So. I'm sure these were very, very expensive. 
talk about that later in the video. And they have these wrapped up good. Can I pop the bubble wrap after this? <laughs> yeah, you can pop the bubble wrap after this, buddy. It's your video. It's your channel. I'm just helping you because this one's a little bit hard to unbox. I had a feeling it would be. Okay, I think I got all of it off. So, let's take a look at what we have here. So, let's lift this off. Yep, definitely that really easily scratched acrylic. So, definitely don't want to clean this with anything but a microfiber cloth. Okay. All right, so you take that off. And these are the shoes in here, I'm assuming. And this. So this is the base. The yellow being like the yellow brick road. Now let's take this off. Careful to take it off. So this is packaged really nice. Move this here. Okay, so here they are. They're in here. So you can already tell that her feet were really small. These are really small. Uh, the box is really nice. Um, it looks like Dorothy's dress pattern. As you can see, it has the Wizard of Oz stamped in red foil. Um, on the side, it's kind of like a regular shoe box. It says Wizard of Oz, 5C Ruby Slippers. And then it's hand numbered here on the box, 286 of 400. And the bottom of the box has that image on it. Okay. All right, dude. Moment of truth. Go ahead and lift the lid off carefully. They are inside there. You can already see the red. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wow. These are, they, they're breathtaking. They really are. These are, wow. Okay, let's take one out carefully. Unbelievable. It feels weird to hold it. I know it's not the actual one, but it feels like you're holding the actual one because it looks so perfect. So these were constructed exactly the way that they were constructed in the movie. Um, the ones in the movie were, like I said, a, a size 5C. They were white dress shoe, um, white pumps, and they actually, you know, attached the sequins to the white pumps. So this is actually a white shoe they attached the sequins to. Um, the inside is the same, the lining. They even put this orange felt on the bottom which is present on the screen use pairs and the reason they had the orange belt was because it was really loud when she was dancing without it so they attached the felt to make it not as noisy and these are they're just incredible these i've seen the actual pair in person at the smithsonian and these are very, obviously they're newer looking because they're, they're made to look new. Um, but these are, yeah, these are hands down the closest I've ever seen to the original pair. What do you think? Yeah. Hold it. So these are like the ones you saw mm -hmm. in person? Yep. The original ones? All right, let's go ahead and take them both out. Oh, and there's this little plaque in here. Oh, look at this, this is cool. This is actually number two, and I'm guessing this is for your display. This is, uh, yes, it's a metal yellow brick road plaque. This is limited edition 286 of 400. So that probably goes on the display there somewhere. Check that out. the other 
Derek Shu. Wow. These are incredible. Yes, they are. So the bottom of it has the Wizard of Oz. Obviously, you would take these out when you were displaying, but we don't want to mess with them too much. I just want to get an idea. So that's what they're going to look like in there. Um, and then this, it looks like it just attaches. There's 3M tape on the back. It looks like you just take that off, and I'd imagine you'd stick it right there, or I guess wherever you wanted to put it on, on the thing. But that's probably where I'd put it, somewhere like that. Um, so, yeah, that gives you a pretty good idea of what, that it would look like when it's displayed. Um, Very nice. Again, these are made by Icon Design Studio. You can get this particular Yellow Brick Road Edition uh, from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, they retail for $310. And with shipping, they're about 350 um, I think you can get, like, you know, a 15% discount if you've never bought from Sideshow before. Um, but this particular set and pair will run you about $350 total. And if you're a fan of The Wizard of Oz, it's absolutely worth it. Um, like I said, I can tell you right now, these are breathtaking. They're beautiful. They look exactly like the original pair.